Today we're going to teach you how to tweak Kodi a little bit and treat it like a VOD device that you can connect to your television or use it on your computer or whatever. At this point, if you follow the other two videos that I've already done, you have a device that is using free sources, but they're also overwhelmed. I'll make a quick analogy here. You have a very large water main pipe, and that pipe is able to deliver water into your house at a very high rate of speed. When you're going and watching one of these free sources, it's a lot like having, say, a garden hose spraying down that pipe. Some gets through it, but it's not going to fill it up to the volume that it's capable of. And that's what's happening right now with all the free sources that are out there. In the previous video, I showed you how to set up these optional add-ons that you could watch movies and TV from. I'm going to give you an example of a show we're going to try to download using Stream All the Sources. We'll go here and we'll go to TV shows, and we'll go to popular TV shows, and we will come down to Supernatural. We'll go to season 11, episode one. So I can't actually show you me downloading this video. What I can do is show you the sources that are optional right here. There's this first source here that's from Yippee Streaming 720 openload.co. Now this one, if I were to go ahead and try to play it, would probably start off pretty quickly. It's a 720p stream. But what would invariably end up happening is that probably five to 10 seconds in, it would start stuttering and pausing. This is a 45 minute episode. It will take you probably two to three hours to watch this 45 minute episode at 720. What you'll probably end up doing is going down to medium or low quality just so that you can watch it. And that kind of defeats the whole purpose of being a cord cutter. If you're going to cut the cord, you want to be able to at least have sort of similar resolution and quality that you had when you had cable. I think you understand the reasoning for trying to go to a premium service. Now up to this point, if you go out and look for this stuff on the internet, it's really, really hard to find. Most of the time, people, I think, treat Kodi as an IPTV. You'll find a lot of information on how to do that, and that's where you can watch live television like CBS, ABC, that sort of thing. I wanted to treat Kodi for me like a Roku. I wanted to be able to go out and watch a television show or movie when I had the time to watch it. I actually didn't want to watch live TV at all. I was having a very hard time finding solutions that offered me that sort of experience. That's when I came across this. What we're going to be using is called a Dbrid service. And basically a Dbrid service provides many premium accounts across a multitude of cyber lockers, allowing them to share those premium accounts with their users. This way, by subscribing to one Dbrid service, you'll get premium functionality for many of the sources available through Kodi. This will improve your overall streaming experience across the board. So the first step here that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to wanna sign up with one of two different services. The first one is called Real, D-E-B-R-I-D, Real Debrid, and I'm gonna have a link available for you down below that you can click on this. The other one is called Premiumize. For the rest of this tutorial, I'm gonna have you use Real Debrid. There are a few other ones out there. I don't know their pricing structure. This one has a really great pricing structure. Go ahead and sign up, make yourself have a username, pass, all that sort of stuff. Okay, now we're gonna come to, once you've logged in and you wanna click on the premium tab up top, you'll get to see how much this costs. For 15 days, it costs three euros, 30 days is four euros, 90 days is nine euros, and 16 euros for 180 days. That's the one that I ended up signing up with. This one for six months will cost less than Hulu Plus and Netflix combined. Now, once you've signed up with that, just minimize that window. We're gonna come back to that in just a moment. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to Kodi and we're gonna to navigate to the system menu and then go to settings. We're then gonna go down to add-ons. And then under add-ons, we're then gonna to go to system, dependencies. We're then gonna scroll down to URL resolver. Pay close attention right here right now. This will not work if URL Resolver is not at least 2.10.8. If the version is 2.10.0, there is a very real possibility you're going to have to wipe out Kodi and reinstall it. URL Resolver is connected to just about everything inside of Kodi. If it's the wrong version, for whatever reason right now on Jarvis, you cannot update it to 2.10.8, which is what we need to have for this to function correctly. As long as you are seeing 2.10.8, let's keep going. Go to configure. And you'll know that you have the right version 
is if right here it says your resolver and then right next to it it says universal resolvers if it says url resolver and then the next button says resolver one resolver two if it does not have this one right here you have the wrong version and this will not work because we're going to go with real debrid for this example we're going to uh, go ahead and move down to that one if you decide to use premiumize me you can just go right here now there are some people that say use both because you have a greater option for your videos i haven't seen any real reason to use both right now i'm getting amazing quality with my just one real debrid i don't necessarily think i need premiumize me right now what we're going to do here is we're going to say i have a real debrid account i'm going to turn that one on so it turns blue and we're going to bump the priority down to 90. that's all you need to do at this point once you've hit okay go ahead and close this back out Stream all the sources, and then we're going to go back to Supernatural 2005, which is what we looked at earlier. Season 11, Episode 1. So what you do is you go down the list here, and you see that, you know, you saw the same ones that were there before. But look, there's the magical green one. The green ones are the ones we want. And you'll notice that they're all over the place. There's some green ones here and some green ones there, and they're all out of order. This one's a high, this one's a low, the low's above the high. They're sort of sorted by where they came from, but not necessarily their quality. So that's something we're gonna fix in just a moment. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna come here, we're gonna click on this particular one. Now it's gonna do something that a lot of you are already familiar with. It's gonna pop up with the URL Resolver Debrid authorization. Now what we're going to do is open up our Real Debrid web browser. We're just going to go to realdebrid.com forward slash device. Okay? And it's just like doing an OAuth, say for Twitch or something like that. You're going to have this code. We're going to put that code in. Once you go ahead and put that code in, you hit the continue button on Real Debrid's website. Code URL Resolver would like to be able to unrestrict the links. You say allow. Application allowed, you can now close this page. And what happens back on Cody is it just disappears. Now you see it starts working, and I'm going to pause it now before I get in any kind of trouble. It will still buffer if you start it right off the bat, but as you see, we're now in 1080p, 5.1, and it will buffer a little bit. The best thing I recommend to do is let it, let it pause for just like one or two minutes. That should give it enough lead time to where it won't catch up. Okay, so we're going to exit out of this. We're going to show you one more thing before we take off. What we're going to do is we're going to go to stream all the sources and then go to settings of stream all the sources. We're going to go to add on settings and up at the top, you'll see tracked.tv. Tracked.tv will help you track all of your favorites for stream all the sources. And think of it sort of like cloud storage for all of your videos that you're watching, all your TV shows and everything. So once you add those videos and TV shows to your favorites collection, if you were to wipe out Cody or start over from scratch, as long as you log back in with your tracks account, it will be there every single time. So it's like cloud storage. So you don't have to go and make a whole new favorites list. Like I've done this like three or four times now and I actually keep wiping it out. And when I do, I have to go back in and reset up all of my favorite programs and shows. This way, once you've set up tracks, it's free. Once you set it up, it tracks all that stuff for you. The next thing we're gonna do is you go into add on settings. We're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna to go to source sorting. You can't easily see it from the beginning. When you first start off, it says general user interface track TV library integration. And if you try to click it with a mouse, it doesn't seem to work right. That's why it's best to actually use the keyboard at this point. Go all the way over to source sorting. We're gonna come down here, turn sort sources on. Drop sources with unknown sort values, leave that alone. Come down here, the first sort key. We're gonna make sure that it's dbrid first. Now dbrid will push all of the green ones up to the top. That's most important because we want the green ones. They're the ones that are not going to skip and buffer. Best to worst is fine. Second sort key. This one, we're going to go by quality. So first is green. Next is quality. That's pretty much all you want. If you want to do a third sort key and do it by rating or views, you probably can. I'm not. So we're just going to go with the first two, which is DBRID and quality. Say OK. Go back out here and go to TV shows, popular TV shows, Supernatural, season 11, episode one. 
Now it's going to get all the sources. Now look what happens with the list when it comes up. Now look at this. All of them have been sorted from 1080p all the way down to low, and then it goes to the free scrub versions. You don't want to be a scrub. You want to watch it in green. So the green ones are the ones you want to watch from. Okay, that's it. That's all you have to do to set it up, and now you can start watching movies in way higher depth with no skipping or buffering. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. Hopefully this will help you get Cody turned on like it's a VOD machine. You can watch movies and TV on demand in high def without buffering. If you're having a hard time scraping up some cash to get a debrid, that's fine. I will show you how to tweak Cody in the next video that will give you at least a tiny bit less buffering going on. Even if you are running a debrid, you can still use the things I'm going to show you in the next video to help out with even the buffering coming in from the debrid source, which means that it'll probably play even smoother for you. So that's coming up in our next video. Thank you everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave comments below. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. I'll try to do my best to answer them for you. Remember, it's nice to be important, but more important to be nice. See ya!